All right, so this video we're going to look at uh, sets and we're going to talk about union, intersection, and complement. All right, so let's talk about what each one is. Uh, if we're given a set A and a universal set U, uh, the universal set is the set that contains everything. Okay, and the set of all elements of U that do not belong to A is called the complement of set A. And the way we write it is with this A prime here. Okay. So so basically if you have a if you have a universal set U and you have a set A and A has some elements in it. Well every element that is not in this one in A but is in the universal set that's the complement of A. And I'm going to do some examples. So I got about 8 examples to work. All right, so, and then we have the intersection. So given two sets A and B, the set all, of all elements that belong to both sets, sets A and B is called the intersection of the two sets. And this is how we write it, A intersect B. And then, this, and then the set of all elements belonging to set A or to set B or to both sets is called the unit of the two sets and we write it like this A union B. So intersection is basically if you want to find the intersection of two sets it's the elements they have in common and the union of two sets so if you have two sets and you want the union it's just every element that's in both sets combined into one set. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started on the example so you can see I've got about I've got eight examples to work. All right, so let's look at this. So we want to find the complement of A. Well, here we have the universal set. So the universal set contains of contains the set of numbers of the numbers one through ten. Here's set A one three five seven, set B and set C. All right, so we want the complement of A. So the complement, remember, the complement of A is all of the elements that are not in set A but are in the universal set. So you see how set A contains the numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. Okay. So if you see that, see 1, 3, 5, and 7. Those are the elements that are in set A. Well, which elements are not in set A but are in the universal set? Well, you see that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. So the complement of A would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. And there's your answer. Okay. All right, so let's look at, uh, let's look at the next one. The complement of B. Okay. So the complement of B is everything that's in the universal set that's not in set B. So let's see what's in B. So we've got what? 3, 4, 5, 6. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 10. 8 and 10. Okay. So this would be what? 1, 2, 1, 2. And let's see. 7 and 9. And so that's the complement of B. All right, now let's look at A intersect B. All right, so A intersect B, we look at sets A and we look at sets B, set A and B. Now, we want to know what do these sets have in common? Well, let's see. Well, B does not have a 1, so we look at the 3. Well, B has a 3, so there's one element that they have in common, 3. Let's see, 5, yep, there's a 5 here, and a 5 here, and then 7. Well, B doesn't have a 7, so the only elements they have in common is 3 and 5. So this would be 3, 5. All right. And then A union B, well, all that is, let me, let me do this. All right, so A union B, 
that's all of the elements from sets A and B combined into one set. So we've got a 1, a 3, and see B has a 3, but we only write it one time. You don't write it twice. Okay, so 1, 3, and then let's see, we got a 4 here, and then a 5, and then let's see, there's a 6. Just try to keep the numbers in order. Uh, 6, and then we've got 7, uh, 8, and 10. And so there's A union B. Okay, there's A union B. All right, now let's look at this one. We've got the complement of A intersect B. All right, so let me go ahead. I'm going to erase this so I have some room to work because we're going to have to have to do a little more work with these. All right, so I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. All right, so what we want to do here is I need the complement of A and B. Okay, so I need to know what elements does A complement and B have in common. Well, I don't have the complement of A. I know we had it right here, but I erased it. But let's go ahead and write it down. So the complement of A is equal to, so remember that's going to be what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. So there's the complement of A. Make sure I got everything. 1, 3, 5, 7, 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, yeah, that looks right. All right, so now I want to know what does a complement and B have in common. So here's A complement, here's B. Well, let's underline the, the numbers they have in common. So let's see, they've got a 4 in common, okay? They've got a 6 in common, and they've got an 8 in common, and they have a 10 in common. And so those are the values they have in common. So this set would be Let's see, that's going to be what? 4, 6, 8, 10. And so there's A complement intersect B. All right. All right. Now let's look at the next one. We've got A intersect B union C. Okay, A intersect B union C. So what we're going to do here is notice that this is in parentheses. So we need to do this first and then do the intersection with A. Okay, so first I need to find B union C. Okay, so that's all the elements from B and C combined into one set. That's what union means. So we've got a Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. That's all the elements from both sets combined into one. And yes, they both have a four, but you only write it once. Don't write it two. Don't write it twice. Okay. So there's B union C. So what I want to do is I want to take this set here and intersect it with A. So I need to know what elements does this set and this set have in common. Okay, so let's see. Well, we can, let's, let's underline what they have in common. That might make it a little easier. So let's see. Well, they both have a three. Uh, they both have a five and they both have a 7. Okay, And so that would be the answer here. That would be 3, 5, 7. And there's A intersect B union C. Okay, All right, so let's look at the next one. All right, so we've got A union B intersect C. So once again, we need to do what's in the parentheses first. 
Okay, so I need B intersect C. So remember, B intersect C, that's what these two sets have in common. Okay, I'm finding this first. So let's look. What does B and C have in common? Well, let's see. They both, let's see, they both have a 4. Uh, they both have a 6. And they both have an 8. Okay. So the intersection of B and C would be 4, 6, 8. Okay. And now what do I want to do? I want to do this set, union A. See, A union, the B intersects C. All right. So remember, union, that's everything in this set, or everything in this set, plus everything in this set combined into one set. So that would be what? 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And you can see here, nothing, they didn't have the same number in both sets. So it was just every element. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the last one. All right. So I need, I need A intersect B union C complement. Okay. So once again, I'm, I need to find what's in this first inside the parentheses the union of B and the complement of C all right so let's see what we get we get B union C complement all right so remember union that's everything in this set and oh and everything in C complement well we don't have C complement so look we got to find that first don't we all right. So remember the complement that's everything that's in the universal set that's not in set C. So, let's see. Let's just cross out what's in set C. So that's the 2, the 4, the 6, 7, and 8. Those are the elements in C. But the remember the complement that's everything that's in here that's not in here. So that's going to be what? 1, 3, 5, 9, and 10. Okay. So now I can do the intersection of B and C complement. I'm sorry, not the intersection, but the union. I can do the union of B and C complement. So the union is going to be everything in set B plus everything in C complement combined into one set. So let's see. We've got what? A 1, a 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. That's everything from both sets combined into one set. And like I've said before, the 10 appears in both of them. You only write it once. If the number appears in both of them, you only write it once. All right. So here's, here's the set in the parentheses here. Now, I want to do the intersection of A in this set. So it's going to be A intersect this set. So let's just mark off what they have in common. So they both have a 1, they both have a 3, they both have a 5, let me put a comma there, but they don't, but both of them do not have a 7, okay? So the only ones, the only elements they have in common is 1, 3, and 5. So this set would be 1, 3, 5, okay? So I hope that helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.